Are you looking for the best robot vacuums? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best robot vacuums on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. iRobot Roomba J7 Plus I've had a Roomba J7 Plus in my home for over a year, and aside from robot vacuums that also mop, no other robot has been as convenient to use and effective as this one. Its dual brush setup, which uses a durable rubber material, allows it to dig up even tough to grab things like pet fur. In all the time I've used it, at least eight months of weekly cleaning sessions, it's never gotten hair tangled in its brushes. Like the Eufy Robovac 11S, its dustbin is fairly small. Unlike the Eufy, though, the J7 Plus has a docking station that both charges and empties the robot, and the dock's dustbin will hold up to 60 days' worth of debris. Its docking station opens from the top, rather than the side like on iRobot's J9 Plus, which makes it a little more annoying to remove the dust bag. Its runtime is a tad shorter than the Eufy's, but it has a feature that allows it to recharge without taking several hours. If it needs more than 85 minutes to complete a job and the battery is running low, it can estimate how long the rest of the cleaning will take and charge itself enough to get through the job. After that, it'll return to the station again for a complete charge, but that feature cuts down on overall cleaning time by a fair amount. As with other iRobot vacuums, you can schedule cleanings through the app to also optimize cleaning sessions. It uses both a camera and lasers to navigate and create a map of your home, but its handiest feature for pet owners is its object detection. After every cleaning job, you can go into the app and review every new object the robot detected, like a chew toy or pair of socks. That won't be there during the next run, so it knows not to avoid that area in the future. That all happens on iRobot's end after any photos with personally identifiable information have been deleted on your vacuum. The pictures that do get sent to iRobot are totally encrypted and not tied to your account. Because it doesn't have mopping built in, you'll need to mop your floors by hand. That'll take more time, but it's also more effective than the mopping any robot can do, and if you have a lot of rugs or carpeting in your home, this is probably a better option for you anyway. If you need something to do routine mopping to assist with your manual cleaning, get the Combo J9 Plus or X2 Omni. Number 2. Eufy Boost IQ Robovac 11S Slim Eufy's robot vacuums have impressed me with their ability to pack efficient cleaning into a budget-friendly package. Despite being significantly cheaper than every other model we recommend, the 11SS dustbin is nearly the same capacity as the J7 Plus, the vacuum works well on hardwood and carpet, and it automatically returns to its station when it needs to recharge. Art director and long haircut mom Minha Khan loves this affordable robot vacuum because, at 2.85 inches tall, it's slim enough to slide under the couch. My cat tracks litter and sheds everywhere, so I love that the vacuum reaches areas my stick vacuum can't, she explains. Strategist senior writer Liza Corsillo also loves this model and goes so far as to call it the robot vacuum that helped me avoid couples therapy. For this lower price, you won't find a connected app to go along with the vacuum, but it can be maneuvered with a remote control. It also doesn't map your home, you'll have to pay more for a robot that does that but uses infrared sensors to avoid obstacles and comes with drop sensing technology to keep the robot from falling down the stairs. Its tempered glass cover also protects against scratching and damage. Instead of a camera or laser-based navigation system, the 11S relies on bump sensors and edge detection, using the same sort of sensor that's at the bottom of a computer mouse, so it will bounce randomly around the room as it cleans, and it won't be able to identify furniture and stray objects. Number 3. iRobot Roomba Combo J9 Plus No robot mop can fully replace a traditional mop, but iRobot's Combo J9 Plus strikes the best balance between vacuuming, mopping, smart navigation, and price. Its dual brush system works well on hardwood, tile, and carpets and rugs, and the mopping is more than enough to do routine maintenance on floors. I've been using one in my house for a few months and I've been able to cut down on my monthly cleaning by about one or two mopping jobs per month. Since its dustbin can hold up to 30 days' worth of debris, and its docking station can hold up to 60, you won't have to clear it as often as you would a stick vacuum. 
I've found that I have to clear it a little more often than iRobot's estimates, but I also have a dog that tends to shed a fair amount. It's worth noting that when the docking station is picking up everything the robot has sucked up during its cleaning job, it gets quite loud. Since it has smart programming, you can just set it to do its cleaning jobs when you're not home, or while you're awake and can put your noise-canceling headphones on. The Combo J9 Plus S runtime is about 120 minutes, depending on what power level you have the suction set to and if you use the more thorough mopping mode. Like the J7 Plus, if it's running low on power and still has more floor to clean, it'll run back to the station, charge up enough to finish the job, and go straight back to cleaning. As with other iRobot robot vacuums, you can schedule cleaning sessions through the app. Although the mopping on the Combo J9 Plus is sufficient for maintenance, it's important to know that it requires more upkeep than some other robot vacuum mop hybrids, like the Ecovacs Dbot X2 Omni, which has a cleaning function for the mopping pads built into the dock. You have to wash the Combo J9 Plus S mopping pad either by hand or in the washer. It's not a huge inconvenience, as you can just toss it in with the rest of your laundry, but it's something to keep in mind if you're forgetful or rely on the robot as your main method of cleaning. The robot's one shortcoming is that its mopping mechanism isn't quite as effective as the one on the X2 Omni. It uses a mechanical arm to bring the mopping mechanism down when on hard surfaces, and brings it back to the top of the robot when it's on carpet or only tasked with vacuuming. That keeps the pads from getting too dirty, but because the mechanism can't apply a ton of pressure, even at its maximum setting, it doesn't work as well as the X2 Omni's brushes that are at the bottom of the robot and that spin as they clean. That said, because you can remove the mopping pad and wash it on your own, this robot vacuum uses way less water than the X2 Omni, which can clean the pads at the dock using clean water. Number 4. iRobot Roomba Combo J7 Plus if you'd rather save a couple hundred bucks, iRobot's Combo J7 Plus, which I've tested for nearly a year, is nearly as good at vacuuming and mopping as the J9 Plus, with a few caveats. Its runtime is a bit shorter, its docking station opens from the top rather than the side like on the J9 Plus, which is less convenient, and its station doesn't look as nice. Most importantly, though, its mopping compartment will have to be refilled manually, while the Combo J9 Plus has an automatic refill function. In my testing, I usually had to refill it after every time it mopped my one-bedroom townhome an extra step, but not a big deal. Those drawbacks aside, it has the same dual brush system as the Combo J9 Plus, and its mopping works just as well. iRobot also does a good job of bringing new features to older robots, as long as they're still capable of running the new software. Like the J9 Plus, this robot uses lasers and a camera to map your home, and effectively has all the same functionality. You can also schedule cleaning sessions for this model using the app. Even with its shorter runtime of 85 minutes, compared to the J9 Plus, S estimated 120 minutes, this robot was usually able to clean my entire home in one go, unless I had it set to the more thorough mopping mode. In that instance, it had to recharge once before finishing, but it was a fairly short break. Number 5. Ecovax Dbot X2 Omni. iRobot's robot vacuums work well enough for most homes, but the Dbot X2 Omni takes its mopping up a notch and has a longer run time than the Combo J9 Plus. Like the Combo J9 Plus, the X2 Omni uses both lasers and a camera to navigate your home, and it does so with impressive accuracy. When I moved into my new home, I ran a full vacuuming and mopping job at the highest setting before cleaning my floors by hand, and it left my floors clean enough for me to put off my own mopping by about a week. You can adjust the power of the vacuum suction, as well as the amount of water used and how many times it mops. There's also a setting to enable deep scrubbing, which does a better job of cleaning than the standard mode but uses more battery. The standard mopping setting is good for maintenance, and I like using the more intense settings when it's been a while since I've run it. You can create schedules from within the app for when the robot should run a cleaning job, iRobot's vacuums do this, too. If you're into visual data, you can also peek at a 3D map of your home that'll even display furniture, it's pretty neat. This data is all encrypted when it gets sent to Ecovax. There's a feature that lets you run the robot vacuum like an RC car right from your phone and use the camera as a sort of video monitor.
To avoid any privacy issues, the robot will announce when this mode is on and that the camera is enabled. It's also loud enough to hear from across the house. Higher price tag aside, the X2 Omni's biggest drawbacks are its water consumption and its mapping. Because it has a self-cleaning function, it needs to use water to clean both your floors and its mopping pads. Again, you can toggle the settings to make it use less water but it still uses more than the Combo J9 Plus or J7 Plus. Ecovax also doesn't have the same object detection software as iRobot, so you can't review every new item the robot found during its cleaning job. It still performs the same basic function, so it won't run into the box laying on your living room floor, but it's much more hands-off. Its smart mapping isn't quite as useful as on iRobot's models either, as you can't customize the names of rooms helpful for setting custom cleaning jobs and integrating with Alexa or Google Assistant. Since I have an open floor plan, the Ecovacs app has my kitchen identified as Kitchen and my living room as Kitchen 2, which is fine since I never rely on voice commands to start cleaning jobs, but this is not an issue with the Combo J9 Plus or J7 Plus.